Hi there, this is Carl Irwin, and this is a quick uh, look at the Jack branch of MuseScore 4. This is the uh, current build as of this date, uh, and what has been enabled is the master transport feature, so that you have master transport control from MuseScore 4. Uh, I've got actually four applications open. All of them are connected to Jack transport. All of them have the same sample rate. Uh, MuseScore 4 now has a default sample rate of 48 kilohertz, which uh, before it was 441. Uh, now to uh, match Jack, whenever Jack is enabled, we have that uh, this uh, updated sample rate so that it will uh, be perfectly timed with everything else. Um, I've not noticed too many offset needs. Uh, you can, of course, create an offset measure to uh, more specifically align the beats if you need to. Uh, although I'm finding, at least on this project, as I opened it, everything seems to line up pretty well. I've got metronomes enabled on MuseScore 4, on Hydrogen, and on Ardour, the Gelati workstation. And then I've got a video running in Blender starting at frame zero, which is where it syncs from, and uh, an audio track for that video. So you can see that all things will run together. So if we go to the beginning, I'm using the uh, transport uh, play and seek features from MuseScore. And if we hit play, we get uh, good synchronization without any drifting. I can even seek, if I go to a measure in MuseScore, which I could seek before from uh, the DAW, just to demonstrate real quick, if I click back, you can see that everything goes to the same place. But if I seek from, uh, the, uh, from MuseScore 4, I can click on a measure and it will seek to that spot uh, directly to measure seven you can see it's uh, indicating exactly the right starting point, measure seven in our door over here on the playhead. It seeks in the video, it seeks in our uh, hydrogen. And again, I can hit play from any one of these applications and it will uh, control the transport. But more specifically, I can now use the transport controls from MuseScore 4. So it looks like we're getting very, very close. I mean, this is usable. Uh, as a branch, I would use this for production. I actually did a little bit of film score just a week ago on a previous iteration of this before the master transport capabilities were enabled on MuseScore 4, and it worked out very well. So um, now with this capability, it's going to be a lot easier to write and compose because now we can seek directly to measures from MuseScore 4 without seeking from an external application to specific points in the music that we want to hear. Uh, but very, very good news. Again, uh, sometimes there's a little bit of drifting. Uh, a static, I should say a static offset sometimes shows itself. I haven't played with this new build uh, enough to see if that's here, but it has been in recent builds where you would make a initial measure with an offset tempo, and then you would start all projects at measure number two at the correct tempo. And that is a fine way to work. I mean, those are kind of hacky things that we've always had to do when dealing with transport across uh, multiple applications and you're dealing with those play engines uh, and the idiosyncrasies of different play engines from different applications. So that's really not a big deal. Even if that was there, I don't see any reason why this should not be put into uh, the trunk uh, master of MuseScore 4 very, very, very soon uh, once this code is cleaned up and is presented acceptable to the core developers. So hopefully, hopefully this will be a feature that will just be normal for those of you that wish uh, to do this kind of complex scoring, uh, film scoring, synchronization, and also synchronization between other applications for real-time playback. See, one thing you can do is I can run the audio from MuseScore 4 into our door, into the DAW, and from you know another application like Hydrogen into DAW, and I can mix down everything directly in DAW in real time. I can apply real-time effects even in DAW on these other outputs uh, that are coming into uh, the Digital Audio Workstation. It's a lot of power here in terms of integrating different pieces of software in the interest of creating diverse music using a wide tool set uh, outside of just MuseScore 4 or just any one of these applications. So this is a really, really good feature. It's a complex feature. Yes, it is. It's not something that will be everybody's cup of tea, that's for sure. But it is a feature that probably should be normal in a uh, notation program at this 
stage in technology as this has been around for a lot of other applications. So a good way to deal with synchronization uh, devoid of a, an, an internal you know, video player or any other kind of uh, synchronization uh, a server. So Jack, cross-platform server can be used on uh, Linux and Windows. I don't know if it can be used on Mac, but uh, uh, certainly for Linux, this is a very, very powerful uh, a way of working that we've depended on significantly uh, through previous iterations of MuScore. And uh, we definitely want to have this back now in, in the new MuScore with this really, really great play engine and sound sample set. So check this out. Go to uh, the MuScore GitHub page, check on the branches under Jack, and under the uh, uh, MIDI Jack branch, you can get uh, the Lyra branch, uh, and uh, this, is, this is what you get. So very good luck with that. Happy composing and happy mixing.